kitchen where it's no corn and no soy. I know it's been a while since I made a video. Sorry, I see my own reflection in my glasses and it's distracting. Um, I know it's been a while. Um, been getting ready to move and such. But anyways, tonight we are making a favorite which is butterscotch chocolate chip brownies requested by my best friend Shelly Watt. Hey Shell, this is for you. Okay. So, I have the ingredients here for tonight. Uh, we have uh, one cup of flour. We have uh, sea salt, one teaspoon. There's a uh, half a teaspoon of baking powder, um, half a, teaspo a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar, one egg. Um, that is our half a, excuse me, one-fourth cup butter, one cup brown sugar, two tablespoons of milk, uh, one tablespoon, one teaspoon of pure vanilla, and uh, chocolate chips that have no corn and no soy. Makes this recipe no corn and no soy. One, I'm using chocolate chips that have no corn and soy in them, and in the recipe, instead of using um, baking powder, I'm using a combination of baking soda and cream of tartar, and there's no flavor difference. So let's get on with the recipe. Got my pan here. I'm using silicone, so I don't have to butter it and flour it. But if you're using a regular uh, nine by nine or eight by eight pan, you may make sure you flour it because otherwise it'll stick. I'm going to go ahead and take some of the chocolate chips and put them on the bottom of the pan. And the rest, this is a half a bag um, of chocolate chips, so a portion of it I put on the bottom of the pan and then the rest I save for the mixture itself. And then I'm going to set this aside. Um, Preheat your oven. I'm not using the oven tonight, I'm using the toaster oven because it's a warm evening. So, while you're um, while you are preparing your dough, go ahead and make sure you got your oven preheating. Now, for this, we start it on the stove, and then it goes into the toaster oven. Start with our butter. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the pan and melt it completely. And once it's melted, we're going to go ahead and um, add our brown sugar to it. And it being a warm night, it should also melt fairly quickly. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to post them below. And if you are not a subscribed member, feel free to subscribe. I want to hear from you. Uh, click the bell if it's available. And follow me, share me. And my cookbook will be out very shortly. As a matter of fact, uh, today is June 2nd. And I was told that my book will be delivered from the printer press on the 10th. Okay, so as you can see here, the butter is fully melted. I have my one cup of brown sugar. I'm going to plop that in there. It's a bit hard. Whoa, and I'm dropping everything. It's on a very low heat. And as you can see, the brown sugar is melting into the butter. I think I'm going to get myself a wooden spoon. They seem to work better for me. Just crush it and stir it until all of the sugar is melted. Off, I didn't realize it. Keep it on a very low heat. Okay. 
and then once the sugar is fully melted and soft, we will take this off the heat. This recipe is so simple. I, I absolutely love that. It's that's why I love it so much. It's so simple. And we're not adding any kind of butterscotch chips now. The it's preheated. My toaster oven heats up really quickly. Okay, and this is about what you should have. This is the consistency you want. Okay. So now we'll set that aside, and I'm going to put the egg in a bowl along with the vanilla and the milk. I'm going to go ahead, tilt my bowl to the side a little bit and whisk it. That helps get air bubbles in it which will make it nice, light, and fluffy, which is what you want. That's my toaster oven reminding me that it is on. Go ahead and pour your egg mixture into your brown sugar mixture. Go ahead and stir it up. This is about what it looks like. And you mix the egg until it's fully incorporated. Once that is done, it'll be a nice brown color. So now we're going to go ahead and add our flour. I hear you. Baking powder. Cream of tartar. Sea salt. Now, the reason I'm using sea salt instead of iodized salt is iodized salt has sugar. It contains a type of sugar made from corn and since I'm all about no corn no sh no soy I'm glad I discovered that in my uh, research thank you blondie she actually my best my other best friend um, she was doing her own research for something and she stumbled across the fact that um, corn was in see uh, in iodized salt and I have been grateful to her for that so now that we have everything in there except for the chocolate chips it has become a much lighter brown color and it's nice and thick so we're going to go ahead and grab our bowl of chocolate chips and just dump them in Stir that in there. Now this is going to bake um, in the toaster oven. You can also do it in the regular oven. I'm just doing it in the toaster oven for convenience tonight. Um, for 25 to 30 minutes. And... The hardest part is waiting because it ends up, the whole entire kitchen ends up smelling so good. And as you can see, some of the uh, chocolate chips have melted a little bit, which gives it that nice uh, marbleization, which I absolutely love. Uh, don't be afraid to get your fingers in there, just make sure they're clean. Spread this around. Now I am going on a trip 
and I'm going to be taking these with me. I actually might end up making another batch just because I know how good they are. And I'm going to be sharing them and giving some as a gift. Life is good. It's all good. My kitchen, mmm, if I was in a restaurant, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> okay, our oven is beeping, so I'm going to carefully put this in here. Silicone is a little tricky sometimes because it likes to bend. Now when I take it out, I'm going to use... A cookie sheet to help me pull it out because I don't want it to break while it's still that hot. Push the start button and we will come back when it is time to take them out. Just pull this onto there. Turn that off. Still learning about the moment of truth. It's been sitting here for a while, and oh, that looks so nice. Have a look. It's nice and cool now. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer it right there. And then I'll put the pieces in here as I cut them up. Mm. Can you see what I'm doing? Let's see. Cutting with one hand and filming with another. It's interesting the um, talents that we have gained during COVID. Very good. My butterscotch chocolate chip brownies. They're the bomb. And there's no corn and no soy in them. Mm. I hope you enjoy as much as I do. Have a great night. Bye.